Hi guys, Ancient Warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness we're talking about next, then go ahead and hit the bell icon with all. <clears throat> what in the world's going on, folks? Why does it seem like all of a sudden we're getting hit with all kinds of cyber attacks? During the Trump administration, I went back and looked. We were we had one cyber attack a year. This year alone in 2021, we have now had four. Count them. One, two, three, four attacks. Guys, why is this happening? Especially right here on the heels of the lockdown being lifted. You know, is this bad actors from outside our borders or bad actors from inside our borders? I'm starting to wonder this. Now, for some of you that don't know, Microsoft in April was hacked. Microsoft, of all things. You'd think they would they would have unhackable software, but they were hacked. Colonial Pipeline was hacked. Then, JBS Swift, at the latter part of the month and part of this month, was hacked. That one was so bad that it shut down all operations in the United States and in Australia. Then, then, uh, the ferry hack over at the ferry that goes out to uh, Martha's Vineyard. What? You didn't hear about that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it, it, hit, it hit a news cycle about a tenth of a second long. I happened to catch it and I wrote it down. Because there's not been anything else said about it. How many of you knew that Early this week, the D.C. Metro, Baltimore Metro areas, communications, internet, was down. And nobody's talking about it. Why? Is it another hack? You know, guys... I hate to say it this way, and I've talked to several people who are sort of in the know anyway. One of the things that one of my friends brought up is this is all too convenient. You know, if it if it's too good to if it's too good to be true, then it is too good to be true. Guys, <laughs> I do not know what's going on with, with our country. Now I noticed yesterday, I live here in the Texas Panhandle, and not too far from me is where the JBS Swift people meet to uh, 
get on the buses to go over to Cactus. So they're back to work. So apparently their computers are back up. They either paid the ransom or something else. <clears throat> Guys, I'll tell you right now, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that uh, what's going on, I think, is to get more control over the American people. I do not believe this is other countries, bad actors. I think one of the alphabet soup groups, DSA, NSA, CIA. Notice how that rolls off your tongue? I think one of the three groups are probably involved. Now, are they doing it from here in the U.S.? No, I think they're probably doing it from the Ukraine or from a substation in, in Russia. Just, you know, I'm sick and tired of hearing how the Russians are the bad guys all the time. Yet, People have to remind remind Biden of his own history, of how evil he was. Americans don't seem to remember things. All you have to do is pull it up on YouTube. Comments he's made over the years. But besides that, We're sitting right now at a point in history that if you're not preparing, folks, if you're not preparing, and I mean get, get canned meats of all kinds, tuna, salmon, mackerel, pork, beef, uh, if you can afford to buy from MRE Depot and buy that $130 case of, of uh canned meats, depending on what you want, uh, then you should do it. Because do I foresee a day where I foresee a lot of things coming that we do not want to see. This is starting to look like the Carter administration back in the 70s. I remember going to work one morning And hearing them talk about double digit and triple digit inflation. You know, folks, it's coming. Matter of fact, you look at the price of gas right now. I got gas yesterday. Used to cost me for my little my little truck about $26. Yesterday was 36 Now was I emptier than usual? No, nah, not really. So, let me tell you something folks right now. And I, I hope I'm not coming off as a know-it-all, but folks, you need to prepare. You need to get you need to get your food stores in in shape. You need to get your medical supplies in shape. You need to get your defenses in shape. You need to make sure that you can take water and purify it, whether it's with with unscented bleach or pool shock. Or you've got a filtering system like the Big Berkey or the Aquafina or whatever they call it. Uh, but you're ready to go. 
And the other thing is, I'm telling you folks, this bag that we have, that we're all holding, the seam across the bottom is coming loose. And it's about to come up, come undone on us. And we're going to be ha holding an empty bag. So you need to be prepared at a moment's notice if things go south that you can get out. Go. Go to your bug out position. So, With that being said, I'm the Ancient Warrior. I pray you that you're found safe every day. And remember, it's better to have this stuff and not need it than need it and not have it. I'm the Ancient Warrior. We're out.